and horrors, imps, Samovillas, mammoons, flowing drakes, pikes, oak and bats. Did I? Sir, we were up to our noses in frights and horrors, if imps, Samovillas, mammoons, flowing drakes, pikes, oak and bats. Yeah? Let me see what you're offering.
so long. Is it true? Who will never be in like my in my ways in Sartelad? Man, in as fool, so va es geschlecht es yara abba. In dan es verbot. Es diese kolle frigo di bel. In le viva in the Turn this one pale. Weren't it recent you went to see him? Aye. And I swore to bring an offering. What is it you give the ladies? A stance. You'll find out soon as you need their help. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell.
Go, go. Come on. Let's go! in or just peruse him. Show me what you've got on offer.
dropped soldiers' corpses chopped up things. and traded the baubles for vittles at the castle. For that, he was cursed. Grew gone, lost all his hair, and now he awaits death. And whosoever <laughs> finds the Baron's <laughs> daughter here. will not go unrewarded. <laughs> With the Baron like a new daughter, got a few I can oh, spare. <laughs> oh, you've got a son to spare. Son's better, stronger. <laughs> What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augurys. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm. Well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. A tea of mullen leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. About a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. My old lady will know. Got a knack for herbs, she does. The other shite, Mallow, ought to have that too. Chops it, adds it to our milk and speed. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Peller. 
After the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was. Evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Can't seriously think I'm gonna chase down your goat. A Pella without a goat makes for a mute prophet. Getting on my nerves, old man. I'm not going anywhere. No princess, no prophecy, no augury. Witcher, will ye find my princess? The Pella will prophesy soon as she returns. Forget it. Not about to run around looking for a goat. No princess, no prophecy, no augury. Witcher. Will ye find my princess? The Pella will prophesy soon as she returns. Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. Another clue. of wild strawberries. Come on, damn it. Do 
I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. Where the hell do you go? Bell for you to follow. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. Be right back. Is it? Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. 
Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers' Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got.
folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a haunting. Peace must be made. But they must then wait for Forefather's Eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead. Drive the spirit off the Pelican. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. So long. Come on, Roach. White wolf, why? Could use a few potion ingredients. Him? Nothing. 
appeared in the village, looking to trade his ring for some bread. But we've no food, none, because of the black ones. Trampled our fields, raided our granaries, burnt our orchards. So instead of bread, he'll get a noose. Please, good folk, do you not have ears? I did not want this war. I have deserted to go home to my wife and child. Take everything I have, but spare my life. Do what you want. Oh, we will. Don't you fret. Faster. Not so fast, Roach.
Show me what you got. Why did you need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel. Kira, what are you 
you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. Brene the Mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who do you want to use it on? He didn't say. Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The Cursed Isle on Lake Windammer, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. I've gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh -huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think, your image, that's all you care about. The point is, listen, I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some bull with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fikai. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Just come with me. I tried to go to Fikai once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> 
You needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a Megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They're hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. So where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the elven mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful.
can't hear. Great broke already. Sheesh, short lived this magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful. What? I can't hear. Great, broke already. Sheesh, short lived. Magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful.
killed them doesn't look like the work of necrophages. 